Hello and welcome to a special edition of SCLC TV coming to you from Selma, Alabama. Dr. Steele, our president and CEO, uh, 53rd year of the Selma to Montgomery March, 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 50th anniversary of the Poor People's Campaign. But well, we're here in Selma. We kind of put this town on the map, didn't we, SCLC? Absolutely. Uh, SCLC with uh, none other than Reverend Jose Williams and and, uh, and then Dr. King came from the invitation of uh, Reverend Williams, but he was delegated the responsibility of coming to Selma with Dr. Lafayette and others, but Jose Williams, it was his march, and Dr. King came later after they had the encounter with the state troopers. But we are happy to be back in Selma because we still must restore the 1965 Voter Rights Act. Does that still resonate? Does it still matter or are we retrenching now? It does matter uh, because uh, a, a new report just came out with American uh, Enterprise uh, Institute doing the research economically. They are saying that we have gone back. African Americans have gone back. We make on the average as uh, black people in America $17,000 a year income in comparison to, to the white population of the citizenry of this country, 171,000. That's going back. So racism is a serious problem. Like it was 50 years ago, we still have it. Racism, poverty, and militaristic. What do we do? How do you correct that? You've been fighting this for years. How do you correct that uh, that original sin, some call it racism and poverty? Uh, are we still just treading water here? We are. We gone back to uh, square one. We gone full circle. And the fact being, uh, Maynard, is that we rely so much on politics. You know, it's got to be Hollywood. Our people, they call them stars now. Political stars. Political stars. Yeah. You're not a political star. You're a warrior for the people. That's why you're there. So we go on full circle. We thought that was the answer, but it's not the answer. You never can get out of the street. We were working for development and the upward mobility of God's children, in particular the people of color who was enslaved and in bondage. But the point being, when we got to a certain degree, a certain small percentage of our people going through the door, we were supposed to bring the rest of us in and we shut the door. What's gonna happen this weekend? What happens Sunday? We're here on a Saturday uh, here in Selma. Sunday's a big day for SLC, for others. Symbolizing the Selma to Montgomery March, what are your plans, sir? Well, first of all, SCLC is the co-sponsor of this march, and we are always leading the march. SCLC has always been on the front line of the accomplishments of civil rights. So you, you know, you have people say the new uh, resurgence of the Poor People Campaign, the new uh, civil rights movement. No, the civil rights movement ain't new. It's it's been here all along. People are trying to steal your thunder, aren't they? Well. Now, it's such a thing that's called hijacking, <laughs> like carjacking. <laughs> you know, people, the problem is, man, people don't respect the historicity from which we have come. They want the glory, but they don't want to hear the story. And they don't want to do the work either. Don't want to do the work. It's hard work. And we've been out here a long time. Will that story come forth? Will SCLC get its just due? Well, let me just put it like this. I think it's Mark 5, um, around the 21st, 22nd verse, when Jesus went to the house of this young lady who had just died. And the people was around and they were saying, oh my Lord, uh, she's dead. And Jesus said, no, she just sleep. Guess what they did? They laughed at him. They ridiculed him. And Jesus just went and touched her and brought her back to life. That's the same example with SCLC. People said, don't go down still, it's dead. But the good Lord touched us and we came back alive. Here we are, we ain't going nowhere. Selma, 2018, Dr. Charles Steele Jr. I'm Maynard Eaton, thank you for joining us.